Hey, welcome back to our channel. If you are looking for a powerful, flexible, and developer-friendly headless CMS, then you are in the right place because in today's video, we are diving into Storyblock, a cutting-edge headless content management system that makes it easy to manage and deliver content across any platform, whether it's a website, mobile app, or even smart devices so let's begin so first of all you need to visit the official website which is going to be storyblock.com from here you have two options on the top right corner you can contact the support customer support or you can log in using your credentials but i wanted you to do instead is to click the try for free button why because it would give you a generous 14 day free trial you can try the platform a headless cms with a best in class visual editor and of course all you have to do is provide all the information needed once you've done that you would notice that story block will give you a welcome email and all you have to do is click the confirm my account button and then you will be forwarded to the main dashboard where you can explore the demo platform all right this will allow you to manage and deliver content efficiently across various platforms now you would notice it's very straightforward and it has an intuitive feel when you landed on the home page you have the left side panel where it gives you all these sections now similarly to the other platforms that you might have been using in terms of the cms these sections are designed to help new users manage the platform this is the perfect opportunity for you to begin and explore and familiarize yourself with the tool number one is going to be to get started which is kind of like it's basically the uh tutorials and documentations guides on setting up and using story block all right it's a very easy to uh, thing to understand the dashboard gives you the hub where you manage your story block spaces. You see that? You can view all spaces because each space right here provides a project containing content, components, and settings. For example, this one right here, 10 minutes ago. You can create a new space if you want, but we're going to skip this um, guide for now. But of course, you can upgrade later on. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. The content is a section where you create and manage entries right here you can click the create a new one yeah you can choose from the uh, two options a story where is it's going to be a content entry and a folder where you can use to group your entries on specific content types we're going to click the new content story for example this is going to be For example, this is going to be our our content story. Click on the create button, right? And of course, you will be forwarded to the visual editor. It's a very uh, straight uh, thing to do. You have the navigation panel, all right? So you can customize the way you wanted to feel your entries here. You have the layers, the form. It's a drag and drop kind of thing. If you're um if you're familiar with using CMS, all you have to do is drag and drop the elements and the blocks to to customize your content all right you can save a drafts preview changes and publish content so we're going to publish this if you want and after that you can create a new space if you want it contact the uh, platform or find a new partner we're going to go back to uh, the main home page by clicking this all right so we'll be forwarded to uh, the main dashboard we're going to explore the block library all right now it's integrated to the content because it's a collection of reusable content components that help structure content. You have the predefined headers, footers, card, and more. Developers can create custom content types. Blocks can be reused across different content entries. And again, all I have to do is click the create a new block if you want. Technical name, add a description right here, and click the add a block. For example, this is going to be description is
right? So you can choose the block type. Is it going to be a nestable block, content, universal block? Then click the add a block button, all right? Developers, of course, can now create custom content types because blocks can be reused across different content entries. So we're going to skip this. We're going to the assets. This is a media management section for storing Im images, videos, PDFs, and other files. I'm going to add a file here. You can drag and drop or upload from your computer. So let's see. Click on upload. Now you can optimize your images here. Resize, crop, crop and compress images if you want. And you can upload a, as many files as you may need. Now, the data sources is used for managing structured data in Storyblock. You have the background, background colors, for example. If we're going to be looking for the primary, secondary, is it going to be like white, light, medium, or dark? It's up to you. If you want to delete any of the following, you're all also welcome to do that by clicking the uh, trash icon here and then click on the save button. But don't worry because it automatically saves once you, up, you do some updates on the Storyblock. All right, we're going to the tags section. This is a quick way to organize and categorize content for better filtering. If you click the new tag, for example, content you want to tag, top five discoveries, click the save button and you successfully created an an entry for the tag we're in you can use this to make searching for specific content easier which is kind of useful for a category blog product times and a lot more you can delete and remove this if you don't want that and the next section is kind of really important because it's a marketplace for story block extensions and integrations you see these are categorized into new releases featured collaboration and deployment now these are going to be some of the uh, third-party integrations. For example, activities, color picker, palette, sim rush. Okay, trash bin. These are going to be some. Most of them are marketing tools or e-commerce platforms. These can be added as like for um, SEO tools, translation services like Slack or AI pipelines, and a lot more. You can automate tasks like publishing workflows, and of course to automate any manual or repetitive work now the last section is going to be the lambs we're in it's an experimental section where story block releases beta features right here help story block improve based on your testings and there's going to be like the ai translations concept room and a lot more now the settings is something that you can explore to manage the space users and configurations all right space name is demo space for now you have all these again if you wanted to upgrade and scale up if you feel that your organization is going to be um the perfect opportunity to use story block because you feel that the modular structure makes it highly scalable and flexible you might want to make sure to in inform your company and organization about the uh free trial and the subscription otherwise again these are going to be the plans community entry and business whether you're a content creator developer or marketer these sections is designed to help you manage content efficiently and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one